Hey everyone, this is Chromes. I know it's been a minute, but I got something I was working on that I've been using for a little while now. It seems pretty good, pretty solid, so I wanted uh, to show y'all <laughs> real quick what it is. And uh, I'll hop over into Creative as well, show you some of the stuff I was playing around with. So here I'm at the main storage. I built this a while ago, I think. I actually built it in 113. I think it's got a kind of interesting design. But it's uh, a bit rough for a couple reasons. So, previously, in my ender chest, I had a bunch of, I had like three boxes for redstone. I just have to open everything up and fill in everything manually. So this is ultimately the setup I've come up with here. This is just a temporary setup. I wanted to see if it worked well and actually try it out in survival, not just creative. And uh, again, as the title suggests, this was inspired by something Etho did. I think in the, in the last season of Permitcraft, where he had a, a bunch of shulker boxes, he stuck up into the the ceiling, and then they automatically filled with some things. So ultimately, you have the, the chests. You come in from this side, so you can see all the labels. You come in, you fill up the boxes from above, and it all filters down, or then it all goes down into the, the chest below. And you take output with comparators from each of the chests, and you send the signals down. So you can see all the lights lit up whenever there's something in the chest. So you can see when they're empty, it'll turn off. Let's see real quick, rest of blocks. There you go, so I empty that one out. Now the light turns off, so I know that there's something here that's missing. And this version is three wide tileable. So you set it up relatively compact and uh, have it built basically just to have five different inputs. So there's one directly from above, and the stuff coming in from each of the sides. And in this case, because I don't have a lot of coral fans, I just have three different types that can all come down into here. And uh, I fill in just each row like that. So that could actually be a, an issue when it runs low, but I don't think I go through enough of it for it to, to really matter. So there you go. You can see with the observers that I have at least one in each of the slots. And then 1B, 2B, just so I can see which is which. This is one. This is one. So 1A, put it up there, and you see everything fills in that I've been used over time. And let's grab this as well, that's two. So you can see that would activate a rail on the observers. So these will fill in over time and uh, switch them out for whichever ones you need. One of the major changes I'll make when moving to the new main storage is I'll probably switch these out instead of having uh, chests or double chests. I'll just have to, I'll just put the shulker boxes directly on top of the the hoppers. There's some things that are, that obviously you can't really do that with, that's perfectly fine. But, but yeah, so I've recently revised how I'm doing this. Some things I still need to clean up. Some things I may use a, a larger setup for than just the, the five different inputs. I'll probably also take a look at uh, over at my new main storage and uh, we'll definitely hop over. Hmm. Okay, I'll hop over to the creative server now. So here we are in my creative world. Got a bunch of different stuff I've been working on. And uh, this section here is just where I was trying to put this stuff together and figure it out. So this is the design I ended up using. Of course, in survival, I'll have it covered over a little bit. But yeah, you just take an output directly from each of the chests. You have some that can fit double chests. It's pretty simple and straightforward. I guess this is experimenting with different things. Okay, but ultimately you can, yeah, so you can have a whole bunch more things filtered in. Let's see, oh, what oh, that lag spike was. So you can have, ultimately, you know, use some filler items to to bring a bunch of different things in on top of each other. So you have multiple inputs coming down each one into the chest in the middle. You have to figure out some way to, to get the outputs. What in the world is causing this lag spike? <laughs> I guess I'll have to stay on this side of the chunk border then. <laughs> and this was a, like an attempt to kind of compact it a little bit more. So you'd have it larger. You could fit uh, even more different types of uh, inputs to, from shulker boxes in there if you want. And this is just the, the basic setup. Additionally, you can do things uh, like this here. So for this setup, you have the, the input chests 
where you have the different types of items getting pulled into to load the shulker boxes. Then you can fill the different boxes out here to output to different levels. And then like the center one would uh, affect both. Excuse me. So when either of these chests gets below a certain level the, that you have from this chest here, it'll then allow it to actually activate. Or if you want to do it individually, you can just remove that and then fill up this chest to whatever level you want and this chest to whatever level you want. So you can set up each individual chest to a certain fill level. And that works, but it ends up being a, a bit large. Right, so it depends like how much room you have and uh, how compact you want things to be, whether you can fit something with those additional features in there. So ultimately, I think I'll be using something like this three-wide tileable version. It's relatively small and compact. I may mess around with it further so you don't have as much of a <laughs> like little short area to work with underneath. Maybe I'll see if I can get the shulker box more towards the corner and uh, lift these up a little bit higher or something and try to figure something else out, but I want to minimize the number of hoppers I'm using. So let's uh, hop over into, into my survival world real quick and show you a couple of things. So just to give a quick idea, but why, <laughs> among other things, I'm, I want to build a new main storage, even though I have one that, that works well already. I'm definitely taking some elements of the like the input designs and uh, reusing them. I'm going to improve some things. Like right now, I just have a bunch of clocks that indicate whether there's anything in them, but they'll just spit stuff directly out in the water streams. So I want to add something that'll like give items a chance to stack up before they get sent out over the initial water streams, like having a bulk sorting system. I don't think I'm gonna actually bring this through to my new one though, because I don't bring back large amounts of stuff from excavations anymore. A bit of my design was based on how I wanted the inner hallways to work and how I wanted the, the sorting systems to be set up next to each other. So everything's accessible from the top. You just come through, deal with the uh, item filters up here, then the input, change around whatever you need, have the the lower level stuff down here as well. So everything's nice, open, and accessible. But it also uses a horrific number of hoppers, which uh, almost makes it unplayable at times. Like, this is just, <laughs> this is absurd. Right, they're, they're not even doing anything interesting. So it was, uh, I guess it was all right for my first go, but this is just an absurd number of hoppers, and I need to have a lot less... I have not gone back and added the section for like non-stackable items, which I had always intended to do, but never got around to. Oh, this is the, the outside of the bulk storage setup. I may end up keeping just the, the bulk storage here and then just moving the rest of the, pretty much everything else over to the new main storage. So I'm heading back over here real quick, just to uh, reload. My nether mob switch, so I can take a look at some some things in the nether. It's a it's a bit rough. I was having a hard time <laughs> getting it to work, but there you go. You got 72 zombie villagers hanging out here. It was a uh, an interesting experience. So there's a bunch of stuff here. It's still very much a work in progress. This is to the jungle area where I have my potion brewing set up. This is the main thing from spawn out to the my old main storage. And currently I just have to fly all the way over to the new mega build perimeter and the, where I'm setting up a new main storage. So here we are on the nether side of my uh, mega build perimeter. And uh, from here, I'm actually done a little bit of figuring out where exactly I want to set up a new like uh, nether transportation system. So it's probably going to be at this level and back that way. And then the main storage is through a portal over here. So let's take a quick look where it is. Okay, so this is uh, the mega build perimeter here. And just up a little bit this way at a stronghold is where my new main storage is at. So here I am uh, where I'm starting to build my new main storage. Of course, I wanted to grab some villagers. I think they're just, where are they? Pretty sure I have some villagers. Huh. Well, I'll have to find them at some point, I guess. 
Hopefully I actually captured them. I don't need to bring some new ones over. So I need some villagers to, to set up a mob switch. I'll set them up to, for the north. So anytime I come through to the main storage, I'll always have uh, a mob switch on. And I cleared out the area just so I could uh, control everything. So that way I can leave this uh, loaded using some of the portal trunk loaders without having any uh, additional entities in the area. The other reason why I needed to clear it out is because I wanted to use the, the stronghold or the end portal rather to be able to move around or move items around. So I just haven't placed the last one yet because I don't want to accidentally fall into the keep accidentally falling into the end while I'm building. <laughs> so I actually chose as my theme basically the libraries yep, in the strongholds and some of the, the colors of the end portal. So I think it works alright. I intend to use uh, rock not <laughs> rock Bonanov's fourth, right? <laughs> uh, I tend to use the Rapscallions design for the multi-item sorter for most things. I'll probably have an initial set of filters to both trash some items and then to collect some common items that I'll end up with. I already went through a bunch of uh, old shulker boxes I brought back to my current main storage to see what I actually bring back. So I'm definitely going to have like a trash filter for seeds and for zombie flesh. And I'll probably have some faster filters having everything going over uh, just some water streams to get out some basic redstone components as well. But most of it's but other than that, I'm probably just going to use the, the Rapscallion's design. Okay, so two layers. So the bottom two layers will be actually directly filtered in. So that way the all the basic sorting is completely automatic. But then I can move things around and set things up. So that way I always know exactly where to find things. I'm not going through a bunch of, of chests trying to find stuff. And then also I have, this is uh, the overflow. should come out into droppers. I just have a quick little thing. I've already tested this out in creative. It looks like this works. So this will be a way for, for overflow just to get dropped into some item water streams. And I'll have them all go somewhere, probably like an empty section like this, and have a light turn on. So that way I know when something's uh, filled up. Something I wanted is to, to make sure it's very open. So both from the sky and just flying around so I can move from one side to the other of the storage, just with run rocket. And there's a lot of room so I can just place a bunch of choker boxes down and I have uh, crafting tables everywhere. Everything's lit up. And uh, I don't have to worry about accidentally cutting through the floor with a uh, with pick. need to figure out how to design the, the aesthetic build for the outside. I want to have a roof going over the sorting system. And then have something that goes all the way down to the to the floor in here. So it's going to be like some large structure with a, like an open library on the inside. So I think it's ultimately going to be kind of cool. Oh, and something I almost forgot but I wanted to check out is this formation here so the stronghold apparently actually generated down into several layers of bedrock so it looks like it actually cleared out a bunch of bedrock so I was curious what exactly that left me with here hmm. so that's kind of cool so that should be it for this one today hope you found it interesting uh, I, know I play a bit differently than, than Etho does. He's got his own style <laughs> doing things. But it was cool to, to find something uh, that he was doing there adaptable in a really nice way to, to what I'm doing. I don't have to keep running back to the, the main storage and grabbing a bunch of things. So if you're ultimately, I'll add like a little wing to this new main storage where I have the, the redstone boxes, maybe some glass and some other things that I use in, on a regular basis in, uh, in decent numbers. And I'll have to find something interesting to do with this uh, this little hole here. <laughs> but, but yeah, cool. So I hope you found this interesting. And uh, I'll take care. Cheers.